Today, when traveling by car to a longer distance, or even when commuting to work, I cannot imagine not being able to listen to music using my favorite streaming service. And even though almost every car, even old one, are equipped with audio input, today you are expecting better integration. I mean, today it is normal and expected to be able to skip or pause the track using buttons on steering wheel and to see track info on the car infotainment display. Almost all recently made cars are equipped with Bluetooth option that allows you to connect your phone and to stream music directly from your phone to car audio system with full metadata and control integration. This Bluetooth standard is called A2DP. However, it was not the case a decade ago and hardly any car produced in early 2000s were equipped with A2DP Bluetooth module. Numerous car manufacturers equipped their cars from that era with 30-pin iPod interface. So, if your car happened to have such iPod interface and you want to connect your Android phone and stream music to your car wirelessly with full metadata and remote control capabilities, I have good news for you. It is possible. The application you need is called Podemo and it is available on Google Play Market. It is provided free of charge and you will not be served with any ads. Podemo will display all information about the track like title, artist or album name on car's head unit display and will allow you to skip pause the track directly from a car head unit or from car's steering wheel. Interested? Stay with me and learn how to use this app. I started this project a couple of years ago, so it's there for a while already. I've spent several months recently on it, again to enhance application functionality, to fix all bugs, also to develop new Bluetooth board and to prepare better documentation. This video I treat as a final touch to this project. Actually, there will be two videos. This one is presentation of the application capabilities and the second video will explain how to connect Android phone to iPod 30 pins connector. Connecting Android phone to iPod interface is not trivial and you will need a special cable or a special Bluetooth module. Application itself is not enough. In the second video related to this project I will explain how to create it. And don't worry, it requires only basic soldering skills. And no, unfortunately there is no ready-to-use cable or Bluetooth model available on the market. It will also not work with the standard USB cables, so please don't ask about it. You will need to do it yourself, there is no other option. And final note, this is an open source project. It means that you can download everything including program source code and all schematics for free from project GitHub page. All links are available in the description. Now let's have a look at how Podemo works. For this, let's move to the car. So this is uh, Volvo S80 from uh, 2008 and I developed Podemo specifically for use with this car, but uh, obviously it will work with any different car that uh, has a required connector. This car has two cables, two connectors available. The first one is uh, just a USB connector and uh, it was designed to, to work only with uh, such kind of memory sticks. Uh, it will not work with any uh, modern lighting cables and will not work with any modern uh, iPhones. However, uh, I have additional cable, uh, old style 30 pin uh, connector which is designed to use uh, with the old iPhones. And uh, this is exactly the connector that I'm using to connect uh, Android phone uh, to my car, to have all the information presented on the display and to have all the controls. Okay, but before going uh, to Podemo presentation, uh, let's have a look uh, on the options uh, that you have to connect uh, Podemo to your car. Uh, obviously, you need some custom-made uh, cable because Podemo will not work with any available on the market cables standard USB cables or something similar. So you need uh, something like this. This is my cable uh, that uh, I developed uh, uh, using uh, very cheap uh, 30 pin connector to lightning adapter. 
uh, I don't remember the price but it was like one dollar so I removed uh, a lightning part and just wired uh, the cables and uh, as you can see obviously we have uh, AOX uh, input uh, then we have um, some pins for uh, data transfer and power and actually I have additional cable uh, to powering uh, some uh, external USB models with the standard uh, USB uh, connection but uh, actually it was not needed uh, so these are two main uh, two important uh, things that I used and initially I used uh, uh, I used something like this uh, very cheap uh, USB to serial adapter uh, so to connect it we simply need to connect it here let me check the pins yes so it it goes here plus additionally uh, I need uh, audio cable yes it goes here and finally you need to connect it uh, this part to the phone uh, you need a uh, USB OTG cable and this also goes to the phone but uh, we will not uh, be testing today uh, this setup uh, I just wanted to show you how it looked like and actually I used it for half a year uh, but uh, you can agree this is not the most uh, beautiful and uh, the most handy way uh, if you need to connect your phone uh, to the cables every time you are entering the car so the second setup uh, that I developed uh, used two Bluetooth uh, dongles. Uh, one is a XS3868 uh, model, very cheap Chinese model uh, to transfer audio, and the second is HC05. Uh, this is uh, this is actually my uh, my real setup that I used for 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 the next year more or less and um, all the schematics you can find on the project G github page this is how it was connected yeah so this is the power model yep and this was my setup for for like a year but uh, okay it it was wireless uh, it is working and no additional cables needed i can uh, put it uh, in the gloves compartment and uh, just forget about it but this was not how I wanted to end this project so finally I developed such dedicated uh, board uh, that can be connected uh, to the 30 pin connector uh, in my car and it uses uh, RN52 uh, model this model uh, is very nice it has superior uh, superior audio quality because uh, it supports aptx and uh, it also supports serial communication so in this setup i need only one bluetooth model uh, i needed to develop this uh, board because as you can see it is already not so simple uh, it uses additional uh, audio uh, amplifier here uh, and uh, it has uh, a separate power um, circuit all the schematics uh, you can find on github page uh, of this project uh, including this schematic uh, but now let's uh, connect it to the car and let's see how Podemo works okay so the dongle is connected Podemo is started too the service is running so let's power up audio system and see how it works automatically everything is connected Volvo logo is downloaded uh, okay but um, nothing uh, started because we need to uh, also start the music on the phone so let's go to Spotify let's play the song but there is no audio why there is no audio uh, let's see if Bluetooth is connected no Bluetooth uh, was not connected
Now let's uh, try to change the song first on the phone. Nemo. So we can see that integration is working. Now let's try to switch the song from uh, from the car. End of all hope. It's working. And finally, let's see if it works from the steering wheel. Yep. Works like a charm. Okay, so it works uh, with the Spotify. Uh, actually, it should work with any other uh, any other uh, music application like uh, Tidal, Apple Music, Amazon Prime Music, Play Music. Uh, I tested it uh, with the all major applications, and it seems to work correctly. Um, let's try to use it with the Apple Music. Okay, while it's playing, uh, let me show you um, how, how Podemo handle, uh, handle the, all the metadata information and uh, how you can browse uh, the folder. Actually, um, uh, it will work uh, only for a single album uh, that is uh, being currently played. Uh, it is recognized as generic album uh, because this information is simply uh, not provided by the um, uh, by the music player and Podemo need to uh, remember the tracks that were played. So as you can see uh, track number three was not played but uh, track story time, this is track number four, five, six, seven uh, were played and uh, they are remembered. Uh, now we can uh, select the track then switch to, to it. Let's play track number ten. Ghost Love score. Uh, let's check if uh, this is correct track number 10. Let's go to the playlist. Go to album. Yes, and as you can see, track number 10 is being played. Okay, now let's try to select something uh, that uh, does not have uh, Latin letters in the title uh, because I want uh, to show that uh, Podemo can also transliterate uh, the title and uh, all the non-Latin characters. So let's search for something For something else, slot. Let's play their latest album. Yeah, as you can see, um, the letters, uh, Russian letters, are automatically translated to Latin letters. Uh, this is because it is enabled uh, in the application options. If I am disabling it uh, and pause the music, uh, it will update the information in the car and as you can see, uh, it is not presented correctly. So let's uh, re-enable uh, this option. Let's pause the music. Okay, so this is pretty much how Podemo works. 
I'm using it on daily basis on my road to work and when traveling for vacation with my family. So it's one of the most often used application on my phone. I also have reports from people all over the world who build the cable and who is using it on daily basis too. However, I understand that for some of you creating custom cable is the main obstacle that prevents you from using Podemo. So in the next video I will go through the details of how to build it or how to build Bluetooth dongle to use with Podemo. Stay tuned and see you next time.